good to see. I want to see the Alliance map. What awaits in Jorvikshire? Hafton Ragnarsson, conqueror of the North, sends his greeting. He wishes to meet with Eivor Wolfkist personally. Halston Jarl. I have heard that man's name so often, I feel as though I know him already. He is currently entangled in a war with the Picts of the Northern Hills. I suspect he wants your counsel, or your axe. If you are keen to meet him, he asks that you join him at his war camp. I have the location here. I'll go at once. With caution, Eivor. Jervikshire is currently at war with the Picts, a proud clan that lives just beyond the Roman Wall. Climbed into the hills. Mm. Feel stronger. Who's this? Everyone, all right? Help the wounded and get every man's name. We leave none behind. Well met, Eivor Ravenfriend. Now there's a face I've seen before. Faravit. We met in Jorvik, the Yuletide Feast. The Yuletide Massacre. I remember. What brings you here? Halfdan Jarl. He summoned me. Is he near? He was, but the Picts hit us hard. We were separated. Fresh attack from the hills. Today, tonight we drink with Odin. Either way, we claim victory. For Thor! Yo, 
show me your life, old friend. Once again. Halfdan Reknason, we meet in the Forge of Battle. Surely a good sign. I don't know you. One of Farrowit's new dogs? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Eivor, yes. Down in Mercia. Kingmaker with my brothers Ivar and Ubal and Finir in East Anglia. From the tales I hear, I feared you might be taller. That's not a fear you feel often, I imagine. So you answered my summons. <laughs> but the timing is poor, as you can see. Too many here are spent, battle saw. Thirsty. Faravid, have your men build field pyres for the dead. At once, my yard. Not here, not now. Then to Donacaster for a victory feast! The oldest son of Ragnar Lothbrook, so he says. What do you make of him? What I think doesn't matter. I'm interested in what his men think of him. Is he honest, trustworthy, loyal? Is that why you've come here? To earn Hafton's trust? To find a seat at his table? I have my own table. What I want is a bond of friendship between the new lords of England. Among whom you count yourself, I suppose. It is an ally I seek, not a master. Well, there is but one lord of Northumbria. and start digging. He's at Dunnercaster, the towering castle by the river. The Roman giants outdid themselves with this fortress. Where would Hafton Jarl hold court? In spring, no sooner eaten. That is the plan. Yet my people suffer day by day. Your people? Do you rule a shadow kingdom under my nose? Our people suffer from these brutal winter raids. 
Hagður, já. Þykkis mér þeir vára og vestfóldi. Skilast hvers þeir talar eitthvað ef þeir komi fyrir vestan við rofalandur. This war must end. That is my first concern. The time to strike is... Is when I say we strike. Halfdan's hammer protects this land. Tell my people that, King Rishia. As you wish, my lord. Who is this? Come closer. Halfdan Regnason, my sword arm answers your call. Thank you for your tribute, Eivor Wolfkist. Your battles and deeds are well known to me. And you are the hero of Yorick. So sing my scalds. Not just any hero. Eivor brought order to the city when King Rishie could not. They say you rooted out a gang of thieves and traitors. Not alone, but I led the charge. You gifted my silver to the cards and tails of Jorvik. To men and women who needed it most. A foolish choice. The coin never left King Rishi's treasury. I try never to regret the decisions I make in a time of war. Agreed. To second guess ourselves would only stall the victory. I don't regret sending Faravid to lead our strike against the Picts, in spite of Eivor winning the day. Eivor and I felt them, Hafton Jarl, so you could sweep in, stab a few cold corpses, and claim a glorious victory. <laughs> Old friend, your jests hit like Odin's spear, always on the mark. I would not be here without your hammer, Redyard. Please accept this, your share of the loot we want today. A thing of beauty. Hmm. Frankish, I believe. What do you think, Eivor? Wine goblets are for Roman Nilus. Give me a horn of mead any day. There's wisdom in this one, Faravid. By your leave, Lord, I must return to my forward camp. It's a long, cold ride. Faced smirking glory hound. My lord, in your summons you said. Shh, not here, not now. Dance, sing, and fill yourself with air, and meet me atop this tower of stone. There I will weave a tale of friendship and treachery. A tale as old as the world. Here, Dane, try your look at throwing bones. Show you a wonder. All this 
We conquered this, he and I, together. You've earned great fame, won many battles across England. But not alone, no, no. Bjorn Ironside, fearless Uber, Ivar the Boneless, Sigurd Snake and I, great warriors all, my brothers. Gold is good and battle better, but glory never dies. Forever it lives in the Hall of Heroes, high on Valor's deed. Together we have conquered. Together with my friends, my clan. Faravid above all others. One sword is not an army, Eivor. Even a hero needs loyal friends. I have never lost sight of that. Never. Have you room for one more among those you call friend? What does friendship mean to you, Eivor? Friendship goes beyond words. It is a solemn bond, a chain unbroken. Spoken like the Fowler, it is indeed a kind of magic. You wriggle like an eel in a basket, Hafton. What has called you? Friendship can also spoil, like rotten meat. After all these years, he dares to bite my hand. Faravit, he seems a good and loyal man. Seems, yes. As a bright sky in winter seems warm. But rumors fly of little men plotting treason in the dark. Have you proof of his treachery? Not yet! That is where you enter my saga. Prove this for me. Discover if Faravid has been disloyal. Then we shall talk of oaths. Start me somewhere. Give me something to go on. You see this? From a sea unicorn. I filter my mead and wine with it. I've heard of such beasts. They swim below the ice, beyond the world's edge. And their horns protect against poison. You believe Faravid wants to poison you? I fear he has tried. Countless times. And failed them all. You don't believe me, but I know the man. His gifts of wine, his easy smile, his envy, his plots. Learn the truth. Dig up. <coughs> Unearth his treason. Why trust me with such a task? Jorvik, you stopped the ill deeds of Auden and his swarm of rats. You can do the same here. Like a good sword, Anna has two edges. I'll help you. Faravid has left the feast already, heading for his camp upriver. Join his warband, and behind his back, dig. And if I find nothing, if he's a good and loyal man. Even better, even better. Fair enough. I will find what I find, then return, my friend. Don't let Faravid fool you. He is hiding something. Get out of here. Let the sail out! Sing, my ravens.
cold or dirty. Must be the place. Throw yourself in Gunungag up, you bastard! I am not a dog! Yet here you are, barking again. Because we beg for scraps from Haftan's table. Like dogs. Faravid! Ah, Eivor, my friend. Is Donacaster hospitality to your liking? I would be careful calling this one friend, Faravid. The crow who comes flapping when Haftan gives a whistle. Haftan and I spoke, and what of it? This is our fight, our chance for glory. Fly on home, crow! Lend me a knife, Ferevit. This whelp needs scalding. Over, piss off. Small men always talk big. So, was Hafton generous? Did you get what you came for? If I help with your fight against the Picts, Hafton will consider me a friend. So point the way, Ferevit. The Picts raided that monastery, plundered its silver and gold. The Saxons built more churches and barns and filled them with hearths of monks. Yes, monasteries make tempting targets, and not just for us. We tracked Pictish raiders heading north. I know the place. My raiders sacked Elmet not long ago. Ma. Ah. And then they picked the bones left over from your feast. I'm ready to fight. Let's put them in the ground. Halfdan didn't send you north to fight a skirmish we could win with half our numbers. Why are you here, Eivor? In truth, he doubts your loyalty. Fears your heart is not in this fight. Doubts my loyalty? I have fought for Hafton, killed for Hafton, bled for Hafton, and he doubts me? Nothing I have seen gives me reason to doubt you. But Hafton, he seems a cautious man. Cautious. He was always leery, but now fear has gnawed him down to the bone. To your arms, dogs! Let's roast some pigs! <laughs> Watch for ambushes! Should have stayed in Doracastri. More mead, fewer picks. There's no glory in guard duty. Move out! The picks are just ahead. Lead the way and we'll watch your back. We made it. That was good war work, all.
cave is a passage. The pigs are using it to cross the mountain. A gift for us. You track them through the cave. We'll circle around back and snare any who try to slip away. Pig spoke of Stenweyer, their camp. That's to the north. Their chief may be there. Dead. Run. Stop them before they reach Stenweyer. They spotted us. Run, Run forward. Faster. Faster. Wolf. Wolf. Glory for Wolf. Like it. That's the last one. Let us regroup at Stenway. We need to plan our next move. Don't raid often during winter. Mm. Their scouts are dead. The pigs won't know we're here. 
The Hornets have led us to their nest. More than a chief up there. Looks like the forward camp of an army. But would the pigs dare attack in winter? Hafton thinks not. And the pigs may use that to their advantage. Let's find out. Why would the pigs make war in winter? They must have a reason. Something to gain. Strike him down.
You're on the wrong side of the giant's wall, friend. Have you come to make war in winter? <laughs> Fool! He might have talked! We got what we came for. Is that more Frankish wine? I'll take a few casks. And that silver there. Ofer, that's Hafton's share. Eivor, just in time to divide the spoils. Take some meat if you like. The pigs are at Magnus. This map spells it out. Ah, the wolf kissed is a reader. That stark satyr I'll never mess with. Worry about the pits later. Now's the time for treasure and spoils. You earned it. It should be ours. We did the work. All of it. And nothing for half done. Warming his cock in a Saxon castle. Open that cask and we'll have a taste. We'll celebrate together. Sorry, friend, but that's Hafton's take. You understand. Fair enough. Hafton gets what he's owed. Fuck Hafton! If the Raven wants wine, the Raven gets wine. Open it, Faravich! If you insist, we'll all drink some stinking wine. A little sour, but not bad. I've always preferred ale myself, or spiced meat. What I won't drink is one of Moira's herbal brews. She claims they're a tonic, but there's no telling what she hides in those drinks. Moira? Who is she? She's a herbalist from the north, always skulking in the shadows of Hafton's throne. It's a big throne. Don't you all skulk around it from time to time? I see. Because Hafton thinks I'm disloyal, now you don't trust me. Has our battle bond earned me no favors with you, Eivor? Doubt is too strong a word. But there is a feeling of mistrust among you. I want this alliance to be ironclad. Then let me change your mind. I've got a plan to win this war for good before the winter sets in. Magnus is a strong fort, but we'd be attacking from the south. With speed, we'll catch them off guard. With Hafton's blessing, I'd fight beside you anywhere. Name the time and place. No, Hafton is done fighting for the winter. He thinks it too great a risk. But I say we can win this war before the next snow. If we tell him of this plan, he'll refuse. But if we succeed, you and I together, he'll sing our praises all the louder. I'll fight with you, Faravit. But I will not lie to Hafton if he asks. If you tell him, he'll demand we forswear our attack. Are you willing to risk a victory like that? Our glory? If I tell him, he'll know what we intend. But we'll fight nonetheless, in spite of his anger. Fear is fear. I must return to Donacaster for a time, but I will join you for this battle. Deliver this goblet to my Jarl. He has a fondness for them. And tell him his share of the spoils is coming. When you're ready, find me near Jorvik at a place called the Walds. Like his cock, eh? Afton will be waiting for his gift in Donacaster. Do not give him.